I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Henry Hudson, the British English explorer. I take one finger in the center and underneath I put a dot. And from that dot going towards the left, I'm going to draw curve line down, curve line out, curve line down, and leave it floating. Come back up here to the dot and now we're going to draw curve line down, keep going, and leave it floating. We come back inside and we're just going to draw a curve line up, back, connect on the left, curve line up, back, connect on the right. Underneath, curve line up, curve line down, connect on the right, curve line up, down, up, connect. Come back to the left, draw a curve line inside, come back to the right, draw another curve line inside. Now, come over here on the right and we're just going to draw a big curve line out, down, connect on the left, come back over here on the right, we're just going to draw a little curve line down, connect on the right. Come right here in the center, straight diagonal down, curve line, curve line, and leave it floating. Now he's got a real curly mustache, so watch what I do. We're going to draw a big curve line up, back, connect on the left, big curve line up, back, connect little curved line in the middle and then wavy wavy line down wavy wavy line up connect now we can continue on the left this line and on the right this line connect come over here to this space and let's just draw a little wavy line now starting right here we're going to draw a straight line straight line straight line down keep going straight line straight line out keep going straight line up straight line up come back over here to the left we're going to draw a straight line out out and up okay starting on the left we're going to draw curve line curve line curve line keep going curve line curve line, keep going, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Come back over here and probably right about here. We're going to draw a curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going and connect. Come back to the left. We're just going to draw a curve line off the side of the paper. Come over here on the right. Curve line down off the side of the paper. Right here in the center, if you have room, little curve line, baby circle. All right. Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is color in this space brown. this space brown this space brown and this space brown I come down and I'm going to do this space brown this space brown and this space brown
Now he's definitely styling what a man, a gentleman of his time would be wearing. So he's got the mustache, he's got the goatee, and he has the giant white lace collar, which we're going to leave alone. I'm going to give him black eyes. And fortunately, I have my apricot multicultural crayon so he doesn't look so white. If you don't have any multicultural crayons, you can leave him white because he was white. But I'm just going to add a little bit of color so he doesn't look so white. But if you don't have him, it's okay. Okay. So that's basically it. The only part left to color is his cloak or his suit down here. I chose red violet because it's not purple, but it's not red. It's red violet. So all we have to do is color in this space and maybe give the baby circle here a darker hit. And then that's basically it. Very simple. Now, I was thinking about the background. If you wanted to, you could do one of his sailing ships. You could do one of the flags for Britain. Or you can do what I do. Just take a regular blue crayon and draw straight lines. Just to fill up that space. This is my go-to, which I'm sure if you know me, this is what I use. Alright, I think that's all. Let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is Henry Hudson all colored in. He explored Canada and northern eastern United States. Uh, Hudson Bay is named after him. Hudson River is named after him. He was looking for the Northwest Passage to Asia. And this was in the 1600s. A long time ago. Okay, bye-bye.